Kepala Kebangsaan Convent City Awan. As a librarian, I have the responsibility to help teachers and be an example to my peers. My hobby is reading, from which I gain immense knowledge and adds to my vocabulary as well as improve my language at the same time. Recently, I have read an interesting book which I want to share with you today. The book entitled I Sola System. This non-fiction book is written by Eliza McCarthy with Martin Shuabacha and Shasa Nemene. This book was published in 2013 by Cullen Book Limited. It has a total of 28 pages, which 11 of the pages in this book have augmented reality boxes on them. What is augmented reality? Augmented reality or AR just mixes the real and virtual words together so that a computer or a mobile device with a webcam can bring books to life with amazing interactive animation. This book about our solar system contains one star, that is the sun, with eight planets, millions of rocky asteroids, icy comets, and rock planets in the orbit around it. In the 20th century, a race began between the Soviet Union and the USA to see who would be the first to land on the moon. Even though the Soviet Union astronaut was the first man in space, but the USA was the first human to land on the moon. Meanwhile, humans haven't visited the moon since 1972, but space has not been abandoned since then, thanks to the launch of the International Space System. Since October 2000, not a day has gone by without a person in space. Every day, the orbiting Hubble Space Telescope sends us astonishing new images. After Moon, now scientists study a new mission, Journey to Mars. Before humans can go to the red planet, there's a lot for us to study, like the surface of Mars and Spaceship Builder. A Mars exhibition would be a huge and expensive project, but many scientists think that the knowledge gain would be worth the effort. Throughout reading this book, the strengths and privileges I was able to gain were that the language is simple and easy to understand, adds more to my interest in learning about our solar system. Furthermore, it has amazing pictures and graphic, uh, graphics of space that are rarely seen. For example, the picture of Carina Nobula and the surface of Mars. In addition, throughout the AR app, I can see interactive animations like I can swipe and zoom to explore the bare rocky surface of the moon. By reading this book, it helped me better understand about outer space and increase my interest in the field of astronauts. It will also help my learning in science subjects and allow me to better understand the teacher's explanations in the classroom. Among the facts that interest me is the space race timeline which show the development of space exploration seen by humans 1957 till now. Do you know there are private companies developing vehicles to carry paying customers to space? Maybe one day I will go to Spain to see an amazing our solar system. By reading this book, it also helped me increase my knowledge and pursue my dream as a young scientist. That's the thing about book, they let you travel in or out space without moving your feet. Before I end this review, once again, I want to urge all of you out there to read I Solar System as it has interesting facts and contain colorful graphics which will definitely increase our interest toward completing the book. Although, some of you will think the non-fiction book will be hard to understand and cause boredom, but I am sure you as a young reader myself will, you as a young reader myself will also enjoy this book truly. I also hope this book review will benefit everyone. So, I end this review with